in class, everybody. So here we go. Welcome. We're really happy to have you here tonight. And we're going to talk about emotions and essential oils and how you control your emotions with essential oils. Like how you can balance out your emotions, use the essential oils to your benefit, and maybe some reasons why you might want to have the essential oils in your life. We're going to talk about three different things. We're going to talk about um, practical tips on how you can balance your emotions when you're dealing with stress, whatever you happen to be coping with different oils and products that can help you and real physical factors you may not even have heard about that can cause stress on you and how calming oils can help. But to start off with, we wanna ask all of you here with us on Zoom, what are you diffusing? Anybody got their diffuser going? What's in it? Tell us. Gay, what do you I got thieves. Thieves, good. I got, I got rosemary going on. Okay, Erica has luscious lemon, luscious lemon. Anybody else want to tell us what they got going? I have, let me tell you what I've got. This made me think, I always want to ask you all this, but I forget. I've got Lang Lang and peppermint. I just wanted a sweet smell that was fun tonight. So that's what I've got going on. Okay, we're going to turn this over to Erica. Take it away, Erica. Okay, I didn't know I was starting. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about um, how essential oils can help us emotionally. Okay, maybe you guys are like me. So when I'm under the wellness line, I use my oils, right? Thieves. If my stomach's bothering me, I use Digize, like my head's throbbing, peppermint. But a lot of times, I don't think to turn to essential oils for my emotions. Do you guys feel the same way when you're stressed, you're overwhelmed, you get the blues? Do you reach for an oil? I don't know why, but I, I'm like that. But we actually have tools that can actually help us to deal with our emotions. So it's like you are carrying this big, heavy package and a friend wants to come along and help you carry that heavy load. Allow your friend to help you, okay? So we're gonna talk about that. So essential oils affect something called the limbic system. That is a system in the brain. That is the emotional storehouse. So a lot of things are affected there. Um, memories, blood pressure, breathing, memory, hormones, stress levels. So when you are overwhelmed and you just can't deal, reach for your favorite emotional oil. Now that can be, everyone's different. Everyone has their go-to and everyone's gonna respond a little bit differently. Maybe for you it's lavender, maybe it's cedarwood, it could be a combination. Uh, I wanna share, I don't wanna forget this because a doctor that I follow, he's actual, he is a medical doctor. Um, I forget all his degrees, I'm sorry. His name is Dr. Doug Corrigan, if you ever wanna follow him. But he was talking about a study that was done. There's been many studies done in essential oils and the calming effects for stress, for sleep. And he talked about one they just recently did for lavender and geranium. They mixed it and they diluted it and they had a control group, they had a placebo group, they had, you know, the whole study. And they found those that were using the essential oils, um, their cortisol levels had dropped and their alpha wave power in their brain had increased by 40%, which he's saying is a good thing. I don't even know what that is, but he's telling, he's saying this is a good thing. And also plasma brain derived neurotrophic factor, which I've been hearing a lot about lately, increased by 40%. So when it's, when it's low, that's a bad thing. It's associated with a lot of negativity. You're in the blues, you're in the dumps when that's low. So they're doing a lot of research. There's old research, there's, there's more new research coming out, the essential oils and the powerful, amazing, uplifting effects to the brain. If you wanna do a search, PubMed, there is, I forget, hundreds of thousands of well-documented research studies on essential oils and how amazing they are. So when you're down in the dumps or in the blues, reach for your oils, have them with you. Um, that's a thing that I find helps me. So two oils I'm going to talk to you guys about, they're blends. One is Valor. It comes in the starter bundle. And Stress Away also comes in the starter bundle. That's why the starter bundle is the best deal. It has so many things in the bundle. But Valor is a very powerful blend that has black spruce. It has camphor. It has... Blue Tansy, that's a very expensive oil. Um, it has frankincense, which is a little pricey, and geranium. This is a very powerful blend. I find when you are really 
like you just can't take it and you need to come down emotionally. For me personally, valor is the blend. So I have uh, stress when I'm in a car, especially on the highway. And especially if I'm not driving, I am like, like clawing the dashboard. <laughs> and so my husband always said, did you bring the valor? Did you bring the valor? Cause he knows. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. I don't need it. He's like, no, no, valor, take your valor. Take, he says, take your medicine. And I take it, and I almost want to take a nap. I'm like, all right, do what you want. Drive as fast, because I feel like he drives fast, you know? But the Valor, it's so calming. It's so soothing. It just helps you to deal with a really high, intense, stressful situation. You're like, you're like, you're clenching your teeth. I feel like Valor is definitely the one. I've actually taken this, I have to get blood work done, which I absolutely, like 911 hate, like, it's the worst thing. I'm like a little, you drag me in to get blood work. I will do this. And I find it really takes me down so many notches. I could be up here, like at a level 20. And it just takes me down so many notches where I'm calm. I can talk to the person. One time the girl goes, what is that? I feel so calm. And it, it was Valor. I gave her my card. So Valor, I find when things are really tense, really high, high, high stress, Valor. You know, put a few drops in your hand, make that scent tent, take a some nice deep breaths. So what most of us do, I don't know why I don't have this with, with this one. We get those roller tops, Young Living cells. These are the best ones because they're metal on metal. Most are plastic and metal. Ultimately, the plastic will warp and the metal ball will fall out. These are the best ones. I think they're a dollar a piece, but you better buy a 10 pack. So most of us will just put a roller on it. Valor is safe to do it because it's already pre-diluted with the carrier oil. So you put that roller on and usually I have, and I roll it on my pulse points on my neck and I just take nice deep breaths and I find, whew, it gets me out of a stressful situation every single time, Valor. My husband also notices, this really helps him. So I gotta be compliant so I can't mention certain medical situations, but he has um, some heart stuff. I don't know how to say this, but sometimes things get tense and levels go up and <gasps> And he finds every time Valor will vroom, bring everything back down. He'll test himself and say, wow, it worked better than someone that the doctor gave him, Valor. So we'll talk about that later once we're done Facebook, if you want to know about that. Another oil that I absolutely love, I actually love this as a perfume, is Stress Away. I love it. It's beautiful. It smells like you're at the beach. So I feel like I'm on vacation. I'm at the store, I'm driving, every, you know, it's stressful, right? Driving, <laughs> going to the store now, it's just like really stressful. I find just take your oils with you, take a nice deep breath and then go into the store or do your, do your oils and then start driving. I find it will really help you not to get so upset, right? Dealing with people, right? So stress away, I find uh, same thing. I, I feel like this is the big guns valor for me personally. Stress Away, I love as a perfume, but I, I do notice it definitely makes you feel like I'm on vacation at the beach. So if you want to feel like if your life needs a vacation and you're overwhelmed, I would definitely turn to Stress Away. Absolutely. And I think there's already a carrier oil. No, there's not. Okay. It's actually full strength. And I, what I recommend is get the bigger bottle because it's the better deal. It's the cheaper. It's, if you're going to reorder something, always get the bigger bottle. It's just the cheaper way to go. And a few times I was, I, I'm more like when you're overwhelmed, I feel like stress away is the, is the one to turn to. Um, I, I was overwhelmed a few times and I was just like, you know, that's it. So do my stress away. I felt like I was on vacation. I absolutely love it. So these are the two that I definitely would recommend Valor and stress away. And again, these come in the starter bundle, which you can always order in the starter bundle. It's a great deal. It's 50% off. I always recommend that you get into the diffuser. It's great. So that's what I was sharing with you guys. When we're done Facebook. I can share a little bit more information on Valor because I can't really share it in this space. So I think next, I think I'm going to, are we turning to Rochelle or am I going back to Chris? I don't know. Um, I just, let me just ask everybody a question and I'll turn it over to Rochelle. How many of you, like kind of just raise your hands here. I'm curious of the bunch that's with us tonight think to turn to your oils when you're stressed because I don't either it's like me and Erica don't oh Pam does that's good anybody else think to turn to their oils when they're stressed okay this is good information let's see let me see if I can see everybody else oh, okay we have a few gay and Mary. but I'm driving good and Maritza 
And Danielle, you guys are good. Okay, we're bad. <laughs> All right, let's start it. I was just curious how let's, many could agree. Many, what do you guys notice when you use your stress oils? You guys notice a difference in your stress levels. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys notice? I hate to say that I don't, <laughs> but I think it's psychological that I do. And I mean, I live with stress of Chris knows I live with stress away and that's my go-to oil. I love it. So it must be doing something that you keep turning to it. It must be doing something. It must be that yeah. you're turning to it, right? Yeah. So even yeah. for me, I notice it doesn't take everything away, but let's say my stress levels are a 10. It can knock me down to a five and it feels like it's more manageable. Do you feel like that, Gay? Like maybe it's just a little bit more manageable. Yeah. It's not definitely. taking it away. That's not the promise here. But it will take you down so many levels. You're like, okay, I can deal. Do you I find that? I feel calmer after I use it on me. Because I use half the bottle. So, you know, it should help. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's good. Calm. Okay, that's good. Awesome that you noticed that. Anybody else want to tell us how they feel when they pull out their stress oils? I can tell you. Perfect. Dee, did you want to say something too? How do you feel when you turn to your stress oils? Uh, yeah, I, I use my stress away when I want to sleep in the evening. I guess the whole day just catches up with me. Not so much stress. I don't like to think so much when, in the evening. That's when everything just started piling up. So I just use the stress away and boy, I'm gone. I feel really relaxed. I just uh, figured it might be inner stress. So it does help. Nice. Pam, did you want to add something? The same thing. It calms me down because I'm a hyper person. I know I'm quiet on this program, but I am I'm right, Chris. I am very hyper and it yeah. does calm me right down. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds good. Okay, Rochelle, we're turning it over to you now. Go, girl. Oh, is she here? Is she here? Is she ready? Where, what happened to our Rochelle? What happened? Are you ready? Okay, there we go. All right, so I was gonna talk a little bit about um, very quickly homeostasis. And we had a conversation about homeostasis and frequencies a little while ago, but homeostasis um, is where it has to do with your body function. So um, I have to make sure that I stay in compliance as well, but homeostasis, your body functions, uh, things that have to do with metabolism, uh, your thermostat, Fanny, um, uh, your blood sugar, hopefully that is within compliance. Um, that's just to name a few. And so when there's a disruption in any of those body functions, uh, that's when you're out of what's considered homeostasis. Some of the things that add to uh, pulling you out of that is uh, toxins, heavy metals, radiation, uh, harmful electromagnetic fields like computers or cell phones. So when you feel like you need additional support emotionally, uh, whether it's for two days, two weeks, or two years, you want to find an essential oil that's going to give you support there. And something with a higher frequency will help you make that adjustment. Okay, so we'll talk about that. So let's see. First up, wait, did I talk about frequencies? Because I was going to share with you. All right, I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, so first up, Gentle Baby. So if there are any, anybody on Facebook who's watching, um, Gentle Baby is intended for babies and mothers, but I use it and anyone can use really any of Young Living's, um, excuse me, any of their, their essential oils. And so this particular blend is coriander, uh, geranium, palmarosa, lavender, ylang-ylang, Roman chamomile and bergamot oils. It's very relaxing, it's very calming. It can help you create a space mentally and emotionally before you start to enter motherhood or to pull you back into childhood. Uh, some of the uh, things you can use it for and probably the, not probably, but the intended purpose is when you are literally about to enter labor. And so there are things that you can do with it. And I'm not going to go into any detail. Uh, first of all, I've never had children, so I don't want to mispronounce any of the words. 
But um, when the baby comes out, certain things tend to rip. It's supposed to help you with that. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so if, <laughs> don't make me laugh, Erica. So it's supposed to help you with that. But what's interesting is it's going to give you, uh, it's a calming effect on your mind and just to relax your overall experience. Um, that's beneficial, not just for you as the mother giving birth, but for the baby. Because if you're tense and you're just too wound up, then the baby's going to feel that as well. That has a frequency of 152. So frequency has to do with it's the science of it is really energy. And our body is made up of that. And what happens is, let me find a graphic for you. So here's my first graphic. Well, I'm gonna go, I won't show the homeostasis um, unless you guys have questions at the end, but I'll give you the graphic for the frequencies because I thought that was probably the most interesting. Sometimes people, oh yeah, that's hocus pocus. What's going on? Well, no. It's more scientific and it has to do with your cell structure. And your cell structure has what's called uh, an energy or it vibrates, if you will. And so it basically reminds the cells of what they're supposed to be doing. And let me give you, our body's made up of molecules and they vibrate constantly, creating electromagnetic energy waves. So that goes back to that first part where I was talking about things or toxins, heavy metals that interrupt that electromagnetic field. That'll throw you out of homeostasis. If you find yourself horribly or out, maybe, maybe more emotional than you normally would be for an extended period of time, you have to kind of double check. I cannot go into detail about myself, but I have a story to tell you because I had a conversation with my doctor. I thought it was interesting. I was on the money with where I was going and she was the only one who could actually explain. And if you remember when I broke my leg, that's where this all began. It was, it was before, I just had no idea. So there's that. So here's the picture about frequencies. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can, oh, don't shoot. Here we go. I wanna get a good image for you guys. Yes, I had one. Well, let's use this one. You know, sometimes when you click on things, it's what happens when you're. We want to see it, Rochelle. What is it? Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to share the screen. All right. So each essential oil has a certain frequency. And when you fall below what Erica was saying originally about the wellness line, you can fall below an emotional wellness line as well, not just physical. And so when you feel like you're starting to dip, you're feeling a certain way emotionally and mentally, you try to reach for an oil that's going to pull that frequency up. At the top, it says enlightenment, but you've got peace, joy, love, reason, acceptance. You've got these different colors that represent those frequencies. And so what you're trying to do is find a higher frequency, at least um, above 100, so that it'll pull you up so you won't be feeling low. And so in the case of gentle baby, the frequency is 152. So that's going to pull you up where, you know, you're about to have a baby. And if, you start, if you're low, and typically what happens is sometimes humans have a tendency, we will be feeling low childhood trauma, whatever the case may be. So you can't stay what the psychology community terms as the valley. You got to get out of the valley. You can get picked off in the valley. So you need to find cover. And so finding an oil is the one way to kind of help pull you up, help you mentally and emotionally feel like, you know, you can do a little bit more for yourself. And so you'll see, so this is just one of the examples. There's many examples. I didn't want to not show you any graphics, but I thought it was interesting to find that they could represent a frequency level according to a characteristic or a quality. All right, so that's Gentle Baby, 152, all right? Uh, second, I have what's called Release. Release is one of my new favorites in high rotation. First off, I will show you 
gentle baby. Can you guys see that? It has a dropper on it because I use it. I use it often. And then the second one I wanted to show you that I use is Release. Release, Release is one of my new favorite blends. It is in high rotation. Um, it's a blend, again, of Ylang Ylang, which is one of your leveling. Oh, boy. <laughs> it levels you out. Let's just say that. Um, it's olive fruit oil, lavender, geranium, one of my new favorites that I spent a little extra coin on. Royal Hawaiian sandalwood. It's absolutely divine. Grapefruit, tangerine, spearmint, lemon, blue cypress, davana, kefir lime, okatea, jasmine, blue tansy, rose, and then one that I'm going to try and pronounce. Matricaria. Matricaria. I, I feel like I'm really butchering that, but those are that release it's an intense with the oils and it has okatea rose jasmine royal hawaiian some heavy hitters i honestly thought when i first got it i misread and i thought oh it has melissa but no it, it, it doesn't it doesn't have melissa but it's got everything else and so the body systems affected with this particular blend it it may help you deal with various issues related to emotional balance um, release, the primary function is to help release memory trauma. Um, and what I learned is it's memory trauma. What happens is when you are angry and when you have eight, those emotions, you store it in your liver and release helps you relieve that. It's companion oil is du Juvaflex, which is a cleansing, um, supplement. So, Keep that in mind when you're dealing with any trauma, find a way to release it and get that out of you because it's toxic for you. And uh, I love this particular oil because, and I got it, it says it's aids in the releasing, letting go of negative emotions so you can process more effectively and efficiency. And my favorite, it helps to relieve frustration. So you're sitting on Zoom all day. You're burning up in the heat. Some of you are experiencing a, a crazy heat wave going on, um, or you're just tired of being you know, shut in. Release is a really wonderful fragrant aroma blend. And so again, some of the companion oils that go with this are Juvaflex, Valor, Harmony. And it gives you uh, the directions on how to do it. On your feet is one way to go. Um, why? Well, because your feet, the bottom of your feet, is the most absorbent part of your body. So there's that. The frequency level for release is 102. So I really like that. It's something that I diffuse at my desk. I have what's called a passive diffuser. And so I just drop the oils. I don't, I don't have a diffuser for my desk yet, but eventually I will. All right. You want me to go to my third one or you want me to wait? I can do a little bit in between here. Okay. All right. So we're talking about um, stress and how your body handles it. So we have a nervous system that we want to calm down. That's what we're talking about. So we want the oils to help us calm our nervous system down. So scientifically speaking, there's the atomic nervous system, which is two different parts. It's your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nervous system. So we're talking now about the sympathetic para, um, nervous system. Your sympathetic nervous system relaxes you or gets you to run. So when we're stressed, our bodies are in this high gear and we want to run. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about, trying to get the whole nervous system to calm down. We don't want to be in that emergency response uh, area for our body. We want to just calm down. So we also want like this, it affects us in so many ways. You might not even realize it, that your breathing is faster, your respiration, your blood pressure goes up. So what, what we wanna do is relax the body. And that's what we're talking about. Our essential oils can help you do that. So what are some other things that you could do besides just essential oils to calm down? Well, one thing you wanna think about for getting your body relaxed in a relaxed state. These are for people who deal with trauma, stress all the time. It, that's just their bodies are fixed that way. A good diet. A good diet affects your nervous system. 
And one thing Young Living just came out with, if you don't eat your greens, they have a powdered greens. This is something to think about if you're not getting a good diet. This is just something new that Young Living has. I don't know if all everybody knows about it or not, but the greens. Put it in a smoothie and get your nutrition going to calm your body down. Another thing you want to do is sleep. And we, a lot of us have issues, us high strung people who tend to be very nervous just without extra stresses is not getting enough sleep. So the thing I found that helps me the most, it's like my knockout oil. When I'm like, there's a couple I start with, but when I'm just like, ah, this is the oil for me, it's called Dreamcatcher. So if you all are having trouble getting to sleep, staying asleep, I fall asleep right away. It's the waking up and going back to sleep that I have an issue with. This is an amazing blend, dream catcher. So it's just something else I wanted to throw it out there. So we need good diet, we need good sleep, we need exercise, like I got in my diffuser, peppermint can get you going. If you just need that motivation to get your exercise in, you need 30 minutes five times a week to get your bodies in the best non-stress level that you can think of. Some other things, the suggestions are, make sure you have some downtime. You know, walk away from the phones once in a while. Make sure you're prioritizing what's the most important to you. Get it done, because that will help your whole body calm down and de-stress. And even chatting with a friend is a de-stressor. Just, that's just the way we're made, that when we get to talk to our friends, the body calms down a little bit more. Here's a little uh, medical condition I had never heard of until I did research on it that maybe you all haven't heard about. It's called SAD, S-A-D, and it's a real medical condition. It's called Seasonal Affective Disorder. So usually it's from not having enough sun, but why would we be talking about this in summertime when it's like a thousand degrees? Because it's like a thousand degrees across most of the United States and we're like hiding in our houses. So you wanna make sure that you get enough sun. And what does that do? Well, when you get enough sunshine in your life, you make a um, amino acid that really helps your body calm down. And that amino acid is called um, tryptophan. So what if you're not getting out, you're not getting enough sun, you need to get some tryptophan in your system? Well, some of the Young Living products have it. One of them is Pure Protein Complete. So this is my go-to in the mornings, and I think that's the reason I feel better when I have this after a run. I, I take it for, I drink my smoothie with this because I want the protein after my run, to, you know, to help the body heal and be together, but um, I, it could be. You know, the body's so complicated, even the tryptophan in here could be helping me out. If you're not into smoothies, you're not into having pure protein complete, this is another way, amino-wise, has all the amino acids the body needs. So just something to think about if you need some more amino acids in your system, Young Living has products that can help you because all of that together, getting the body working together, can calm you down. Here's uh, something else that you might think about that's on sale with Young Living Now. If we need to like super de-stress, it's called Gary's Great Day Protocol. We call it the Happy Day Protocol. Who knows what the four oils are in Gary's Great Day Protocol. It's sold, it's sold by Young Living as a set. I bought them individually. But anybody know what these oils are? There's four and you should do them in the order that they come. There's like a certain order for this protocol. Anybody, anybody help me out. I can't see everyone. Let's see. Go ahead and raise your uh, raise your hand. Rochelle knows. Okay, Rochelle, what are they? Erica knows. <laughs> come on, girls. Do you want to tell me, Rochelle? Valor, highest potential. That's all I got. Okay. White, okay. Erica, you want to help her out? I think joy and harmony also. Okay, it's highest potential or harmony. I think in the kit they sell harmony. I like highest potential. So these are probably, they work very similarly on the body. So they say either or, harmony or highest potential. But you guys are right. Okay, let's start at the beginning. I'm just going to walk you through the protocol. If you guys are taking some notes, you might want to take some notes because if you get these oils even individually or if you have them around and you're having a extremely sad day, stressed out day, this might help you. 
Okay, so you start off and you take your valor, just like Erica was telling us about. Take your valor, put it on your ribs. That's step number one. And then you go on to, you have a ganglion of nerves right above your belly button. So you take either harmony or highest potential. If you get the kit, I think you get harmony with it. I didn't actually check that out, but this is the one I love. It smells so much better, I think. My body likes highest potential. And you put it right above your belly button, just one drop. And this, I was like, that's crazy. Why above the belly button? But you have a whole ganglion of nerve endings right there. And we're talking about getting your sympathetic nervous system to relax. So just put it right there. Next, you take joy and you put it right over your heart. Just one drop right over your heart. And then you take white angelica and you put it on your shoulders. So if you want to calm the system down to be your happiest, that is a protocol Young Living has with those beautiful four blends together. That's called Gary's Great Day Protocol or Gary's Protocol, and I call it the Happy Days Pro Protocol. So these are just some things that can get your whole system to calm down. We want to use these blends to de-stress, and I'm gonna help you make a roller at the end of the class that can help you de-stress, but right now I'm gonna turn it back to Rochelle. Okay, so my last oil is called Gratitude. Let's see, got a little dropper on that. And so gratitude actually is another blend. It's uh, balsam Canada, frankincense, coriander, myrrh, ylang ylang, bergamot, northern lights, black spruce, vetiver, and geranium. Uh, this blend is specifically formulated to elevate and soothe um, and appease uh, the brain really, um, help you to relax and just calm your entire body systems down. And while your body is relaxing, the heart and the mind can actually be open. See, then you are able to um, have a more positive uh, outlook on things. So some of the body systems that are affected with uh, the gratitude is uh, your nervous system, your immune system, uh, muscles and bones, emotional balance. Uh, this is really important, especially when your emotional uh, balance gets, it's, it needs the additional support and it's out of whack. You're more prone to dip the, below the wellness line physically. And so your immune system, so you need to get that boost in your immune system. Um, it also will help your um, um, calm down your emotional balance. Aromatic influence, you know, if you're going to diffuse it, um, anyway, whether you're going to put a drop or two in your hand and inhale it, or you're going to put it in a diffuser, whether it's the water diffuser or a more passive diffuser, it's going to help and um, soothe and appease your brain, help you relax. Uh, the application of it is that you rub it over your heart. Question from and, Maritza. Oh, yes, Maritza, go ahead. The gratitude oil, I'm using like a perfume in the back yes. of the ear. And when you walk in, in the kingdom hall, everybody follow you and say, uh, what kind of perfume do you use it? <laughs> and if I'm sitting and somebody behind me and I just, they say, Maritza, that perfume is so good. And it's beautiful because it's relax you. Yeah. And make you focus in the meeting. Right. Exactly. And that's one of the ways in which you can apply it, whether it's over your heart. Um, so recepting, you know, receiving. Um, and like Maritza said, as a, a fragrance or a perfume, again, behind your ears, on your wrists, you know, um, of course, your ears, your neck, but you can wear it as a, a fragrance. And then some of the companion oils that help to elevate and provide additional support would be a couple other blends, acceptance, believe, forgiveness, inner child, inspiration, and one of my favorites, peace and calming. So uh, those are companion oils. So it, I always like to say, you know, you, you pair it with something like food and wine. 
You know, we always talk about pairing food and wine. Um, the same thing with oils. And the frequency wasn't listed on this, but I'm gonna, it, you know, I'm gonna take a gander and say it's it's got to be high, only because I'm looking at uh, what's in it. Again, ylang ylang, frankincense, those are high frequency oils, so it it has to be high, along with, you know, your trees, northern lights, black spruce, um, yeah. So you things you just you can't go wrong. So it's definitely going to pull you up. Again, there are going to be episodes in our lives and where we are feeling some kind of way emotionally, but we cannot stay there. We just can't stay there. We have to find a way to pull ourselves up so that we're able to receive some of the other good things that are going on. But we also want to live a better quality of life. And that's where essential oils with a higher frequency are going to help us do that. So that is my third and final oil. Thank you. All right. Well, I've just got a little bit more I wanted to share with you all. One mention is about a study, a medical study that was done about clary sage. So, you know, when we get um, our sympathetic nervous system all wound up and we're in the I'm going to fight mode, <laughs> you know, your body is like high alert 911. Clary Sage has been shown in this medical study, you guys can read about it, and medical news today to help with your blood pressure and your respiration. So check that out if you want to know about Clary Sage. And everybody ready? Now we're going to make a roller to help us de-stress with some simple oils in it. Pretty simple to do. Take your empty 15 mil, just pop off the top. This was my recent uh, empty 15 mil. I love Sacred Mountain. I have to get some more of this, but I ran out of it. And like Erica was telling you, I totally agree. There is nothing like the Young Living Rollers because they are this metal that lasts. So you just pop it on the top when you're done. You're going to make this into a roller. So there you go. Have it ready when you're ready to um, finish off your roller for de-stressing. Take some of these oils that we talked about, stress away, and take about 15 drops of stress away. Put it in this bottle. I like a strong blend. So that's the way I'm going to uh, bring it out to you all. Take about 15 drops of lavender. And I didn't get my lime. I keep my citrus oils in the refrigerator. That's If they're opened, it's good to keep your citrus oil, especially in this heat, and my house is usually warm in the refrigerator. So 15 drops of lime. And you're just adding to that vacation in the bottle because Stress Away already has lime in it. But what a beautiful scent. So put them all in your 15 mil. Put some carrier oil of your choice, fractionated coconut oil, if you like, if you have around olive oil or some other kind of oil, grapeseed oil, top it off. Put your roller ball on, stick it in your car. So there you go. That was the information we had for you guys tonight. We want you all to de-stress. Hope some of these blends will help you out. Maybe Gary's protocol, it's on sale this month. If you want to get those four oils, um, whatever, all the, maybe some of the other products like the greens or the Pure Protein Complete might interest you. But if you have questions, we'd really appreciate it. Erica and Rochelle and I, the Peppermint Girl and Sunburnt and Crown, if you um, appreciated this show by getting some of these products through us, if you get them straight from Young Living, they will send you to somebody else, some other team. But if you like our classes, we'd love to have you on our team. And that would be by using some of our links we're going to put at the end of this show. So thank you guys all for coming. And we're going to chat with our friends on Zoom here. Bye. See you next week. Bye-bye.